Okay, so we're going to factor this cubic polynomial, given that minus 4 is a root, so we know one of the roots, and we're going to do this with synthetic division. So how do we do this? Well, we always take the root that we're given, and we put it in a little corner, and then we take the coefficients of our polynomial we're trying to factor. So uh, the coefficient of x cubed is 1, the coefficient of x squared is minus 6, coefficient of x is minus 19, and then we have the constant term, uh, 84, this should be a, a positive 84, sorry, positive 84, Oop. well that's fine. And we draw a little line, and first step, we always drop down this 1, or whatever that number happens to be. Okay, and now what do we do? We take minus 4, we multiply this number, and we put the result right there. So minus 4 times 1 is obviously minus 4. And now we add down the column. So minus 6 plus minus 4 is minus 10. We repeat the process. So minus 4 times minus 10. Put the result right here. And we get positive 40. Add down the column, minus 19 plus 40 is minus 21, or sorry, positive 21. Sorry about that. And then minus 4 times positive 21 is minus 84. So we put a minus 84 here. We add down the column, and we get 0, which is great, because that means we have no remainder. So... What does this tell us about factoring? This just seems like some weird little tricky algorithm. Well, what do we do? We say, okay, x minus our root, minus 4, that's one factor. And the remaining factor is given by these coefficients. So this is like the x squared term, this is the x term, and this is the constant term. So we have... 1x squared, so 1x squared, we have minus 10x's, and then we have our constant term, positive 21. And this is equal to our polynomial that we started with that we were trying to factor. So we have successfully factored our cubic polynomial using synthetic division. Now we're not quite done, let's continue on. Doing one more step here, this is a minus minus, so let's make that a positive. So let's just rewrite this, this is x plus 4 times x squared minus 10x plus 21. And now let's factor this guy. So hopefully factoring a, a quadratic polynomial is a little bit easier for you. But what are we doing? We're looking for two numbers. They multiply to 21, to positive 21, and they add up to negative 10. So with a little thought, we get minus 7 and minus 3. These multiply to positive 21, and they add up to minus 10. So all in all, our final answer is this polynomial factors as x plus 4, and then we factor this quadratic into x minus 7 and x minus 3, and this is equal to our original polynomial. So we have now fully factored the polynomial we were given. Okay, so that's just another example using synthetic division, um, how to factor a cubic polynomial if you already know one of the roots. So in this case we knew minus 4 was a root, and we applied synthetic division. See you in the next video.